Hey guys, what's up? It's Jam Team. Welcome back to another Survive the Night video. And in this video, really quick, they just dropped something about the Squid Games. I don't think this is a huge update. They didn't really release anything out on the Discord server yet or tweeted about anything. So I'm thinking they just added some Squid Game content to go ahead and share with everyone. So let's go ahead and check these items out and actually show you guys all of the Squid Game content that they added to Survive the Night. So if you guys head over to the featured section in the store of Survive the Night, we got three new items. We got the Game Overseer, improves your vision in dark areas. Areas. This is the front man's mask in Squid Games, and it is a night vision gear. Then we have Game Guard shoots a nearby survivor, so this is an exterminator reskin. And then we have out of the game a gravestone so when someone eventually dies in squid games they go ahead and bring out these crates they put them in the crates and then they incinerate the bodies so let's go ahead and buy that as a gravestone I just went ahead and saw the update now notification on the official game. So they got some new items here that they went ahead and actually added so let's go ahead and check these out really quick let's buy some new crates here they have the castle torch lamp. The large Molotov lamp. The game shotgun gear. Threat sensor perk. The threat sensor perk increases your speed and now your lamp beeps based on the distance to the slasher. So in my guess to this perk, your lamp is going to be like some sort of tracker, like the tracker gear. I'm guessing that's how your lamp's going to be and it's actually going to be super interesting how this is actually going to work out. I can't wait to actually see it. The Game Guard Mask, so this is going to be, you can actually wear the mask now, this will either be Gilly or Night Vision, I'm not exactly for sure yet. The Overseer Slasher. And that's it. Oh my gosh, this is literally a whole Squid Games update. It's so cool. They also have a new merch gear inside the merch surplus shop. We have the Merch's Potion. This increases your health and heals yourself. So you get more hits to yourself. And then this gear also heals you. Let's go ahead and look at the original brew, which will be the perk for the Merch's Potion. This increases your speed. And now the Merch's Potion increases your max health every single use. What? So every time you actually go ahead and use the merch as potion, your max health will be increased even more than what it originally was before. So not only will it go ahead and actually heal yourself, but it will gain you that additional hit as well. So technically it makes you like full recovery. It's going to be super cool to use this thing. Now let's go ahead and look at all the changes that they made to the game here. Technically the patch notes to the game. The feature tab has been updated just like every other update. So basically what this means is that they change all the items in the feature tab for the point currency store. Slashers can no longer hear breathing while blinded. Holy, this is going to be a huge game changer, I think. A lot of good slashers would use audio to their advantage if they ever got stunned, even by the merch's revolver as well, because that thing's insanely annoying. You can technically just hear where the survivor went or where they're actually going by just hearing their breathing. So now that you're going to be blinded and you can't hear their breathing anymore, this is going to confuse the slasher, I think, quite a bit for those audio players. 
the metal detector gear cooldown has been reduced, and the metal detector gear search locations now sparkle just like the relics. I went ahead and actually tested this out, and it does sparkle a little bit. It's really not too noticeable, and I think it doesn't sparkle when you're near the object, so you got to be far away. kind of gives you a hint that there's going to be a search location in that area, so this will help out quite a bit for actually using the metal detector. But what we were all hoping for was a buff in the metal detector to actually give you more coins while using it, uh, but unfortunately that is not the case here. But it's still a good update. I think it's still a good buff for the metal detector. Might see more people actually use it now. The scare grenade gear skin activation sound has been updated. The Bloxy Cola gear skin sound has been updated. The Merch's Shield gear skin colors have been updated. And finally, the Raveyard Skeleton, the Slasher Skin Taunt sound has been updated. So a lot of changes with the actual sound to these gear. But that's all the changes they made inside this update. And it looks like that's all of the things that we have to cover in this update as well. I hope you guys enjoy all the Squid Game content that they added to this game. I'm certainly going to be using it like 24-7. I know a lot of people say the show is overrated, okay? But it is so good. I would definitely go ahead and watch it again. I think I have some type of mental illness to go ahead and just be obsessed with Squid Games. But come on. It's so hyped right now. I'm so excited that they actually went ahead and added some stuff to the game. So if you guys are excited about that, be sure to leave a like on the video down below. And that's going to be it for me, guys. My name is GMT, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, everyone.